giving Orange a Vuvuzela, Grapefruit. I apologize to everyone. Only now do I realize the error of my ways. <laughs> I deserve this. Just be thankful Orange doesn't actually know how to use a Vuvuzela. Hey, look, I'm Pinocchio. Ha! Just kidding, I'm not. That was a lie. <laughs> if he ever realizes that it makes loud noises, we're all doomed. Every last one of us. Psst. Pardon? The gravy train departs at midnight. What, what now? The fruit flies like bananas. What? Are you talking in code or something? No, I just uh, wanted to tell you that fruit flies like bananas. That's all. Gotta go. Wait, 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 wait! You left your CIA badge! Uh, whoops. <laughs> Dude, you're obviously a secret agent or something. Psh, that's ridiculous. I'm just a plain old burrito. Who wants people to know that fruit flies like bananas? It's an interesting factoid, and it's definitely not secret code for anything of any kind in any way. So now, if you would both please look into this stick for answers to all your questions. Ah! I held it backwards. There go all my memories from senior prom. This is Agent Burrito. Agent Burrito! Has the fruit fly flown? Not yet, no. Wait, I, I mean, yes. Was the fruit fly supposed to fly? Is that before or after the gravy train gets here? Okay, forget the code! The Valvazella! Have you taken it away from Orange yet? No, I haven't quite gotten the chance- Get moving, Burrito! Do you realize the levels of annoyance that can be reached if that Orange discovers how to properly use that instrument? I'm guessing... not good levels? Catastrophic levels! Yes, sir. I I'll get right on it, sir. Use your disguises to get in close and nab it. That is all. Man, your boss is a real jerk. Yeah, he's definitely not Needle Burrito! Wait. Did you guys just hear that entire top secret conversation? Um, yeah. Were we not supposed to? Oh man, my first day as a CIA agent and I've already blown my cover. Boobazela, boobazela! Ha <laughs> ha, what a funny word. Boobazela, boobazela, <laughs> Hey Burrito, pull it together, man! The kitchen needs you! All right, here goes nothing. Wealthy businessman disguise! When I say boo-boo, you say Zayla! Boo-boo, Zayla, boo-boo, Zayla! Excuse me, sir. I'm a wealthy businessman and would like to purchase your Vuvuzela. No thanks. I like my Vuvuzela too much to ever let it go. What if I paid you anything you wanted? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll sell you my Vuvuzela for two Vuvuzelas. Deal. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Double Vuvuzela across the sky. Yeah. So intense. I'm the worst secret agent ever. Hmm. Perhaps a more aggressive approach would work. All right, let's give Escape Convict a shot. Hey, you! Ah, give me those Vuvuzelas or else! Police! Yeah, all right there, buddy. You're coming with me. Wait, no, uh, this is just a disguise. Sure, sure. Let me guess, you're working undercover with the uh, CIA? But I am! <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Save it for the judge. Man, I really blow up being a secret Whoa. agent. <gasps> Wait a minute! Oh no! The unthinkable has happened! <laughs> Listen to this! <gasps> Sorry guys, uh, I guess I'm just not cut out for the secret agent lifestyle. You think? Seriously, dude's a real has-been. <laughs> Whoa! Incognito burrito is mucho finito. <laughs> hey, fruit lovers, I'm Orange, and way over there is P. That's right! Today, I'm staying at least seven feet away from Orange at all times because we're social distancing ourselves! And also because I just made a new mega zoo! <laughs> uh, yeah, there's that too! Pear, do we have to do this much longer? I'm lonely! Sorry, Orange, but we're gonna have to do it for a while. Uh, that's okay, I guess. I have my music to keep me company! Ah! <laughs> uh. So when it comes to social distancing, step one is to stay home. The whole idea is to avoid getting other people sick, and you can do that by avoiding other people. So only leave your house when you absolutely have to. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying I can't play my Megazoo concert tonight? Sorry. I can't work out my non-existent biceps at the gym? You cannot, for multiple reasons. But think of it this way. By not getting the flu, you're preventing other people from getting the flu. Hmm, huh. helping other people. Yeah, I guess that's pretty sick. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, there are times when you do need to leave the house. Maybe you need to get groceries or walk the dog or go to the doctor. In those cases, you should do what we discussed earlier. Use a cream to get that fungus off your bum? I, I, I was not referring to that conversation. Oh, are we talking about that time you cried at Paul Blart Mall Cop 2? Hey, it's an underrated sequel. But, but no, what I was actually referring to was the seven foot rule. 
you have to be around other people, make sure to stay seven feet away from them at all times. Ah! That way you don't accidentally spread anything to them, and they don't accidentally spread anything to you. And don't forget to wash your hands. If you're lucky enough to have them, of course. <laughs> um, Orange, how far did I say we had to stay from one another? Seven feet. Correct. So please back away from- No! Seven feet! Huh? Ooh, ah! Ooh, 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 ah! <laughs> I admit, I'm getting that kick out of this! Dude, would you do something to help? Sorry, Pear, I gotta stay away from you, remember? Otherwise, I totally would! <laughs> ah! Wow, now that's some social distance! <laughs> He's coming! Everyone act natural! How am I supposed to do that? Just relax, dude. Oh, man! What do I do with my hands? You don't have hands. Oh, yeah. Shh. He's here. Hello, Orange. What's going on? Why is everyone acting so weird? We're not acting weird. You're acting weird. Yeah, but I always act weird. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you something's up just by looking at Little Apple. Such a weird place to put your non-existent hands. I told you guys. Can we just tell him? Tell me what? This is an intervention, Orange. An intervention? For what? Who are you? Your friends are concerned about you, Orange. They think you become, let's see how I put this, more annoying than a crawdad tractor pull on a cornfield, all right? What the heck does that mean? Never mind that. Orange, they called me in to help. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Pill. My friend's betraying me? My friend's tricking me into an intervention and betraying me? Unexplored childhood trauma and also my friend's betraying me? <sighs> I'm afraid this isn't getting us anywhere, okay? Can I go? Of course, although we've literally sealed off every possible escape route, okay? Hmm, I see you ain't lying. <laughs> okay, he's kind of cute. I'll stay. Well, I'll be a scarecrow sweet tea. That's great news. Now, your friends have prepared a statement. <clears throat> Orange, we are your friends and we love you. But for the past week, you- Wait, is this about the Mega Zoo? Yes! yes. Hey, but, 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 the Mega Zoo is my best invention ever. It's one part megaphone and one part kazoo. We know what it is. We've listened to it every night for the past two weeks. But have you heard the new song I learned? Okay, now, well, this seems like an opportunity to dig in to the root cause of this boondoggle of a barn dance. Now, tell me, what drove you to make the mega zoo in the first place, Orange? Orange? Wow! Look how funny I look in Dr. Pill's bald spot! <laughs> ah! My brain is shrinking! It's shrinking! <laughs> I feel like my brain's shrinking just watching this! Like it could get any smaller! <laughs> Sorry about this, Dr. Pill! I ain't nothing but a boot buckle. Matter of fact, I think we're making great progress! Yeah! We're making great headway! <laughs> if you don't make him stop, he's gonna keep making jokes about his reflection for hours! Well, now that's finer than the sandpiper Piccadilly by me. You see, Orange is just using humor as a defense mechanism, okay? Doesn't sound like something I would do! <laughs> oh. Go ahead! Say it, Dr. Pill! I can see you have something on your mind, and it sure is handsome! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Would you knock it off? Whoa! Orange is getting Dr. Pill to lose his cool! No, no, I'm fine. I, I apologize for raising my voice just then, all right? That's okay. By the way, if you ever want to raise your voice again, I've got just the thing! <laughs> hey, Dr. Pill! What's your favorite band? Is it Pink Freud? <laughs> oh, that's an awful joke. That's just simply awful. I mean, that, that Cash Me Outside girl is better than that, okay? Hey! Dr. Pill! Yes? Have you ever heard of Pavlov? Does that name ring a bell? <laughs> well, now that's about as funny as a bullfrog banjo ball right there. That is to say, it's not funny at all, okay? Do you finally see what we're dealing with here, Dr. Pill? Unfortunately, I do. This is one of the most extreme cases that I have ever seen. It's time to try a different approach, okay? Orange, have you... Who's Orange? I'm Dr. Peel. Now that's finer than a cucumber's cummerbund. <laughs> Orange, take off that costume. Sure, I'll have it off faster than a hot potato in a pumpkin patch. <laughs> I mean it. 
Oh, man. I hope he doesn't pull off all my costumes until I'm left naked. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That was just my naked costume. <laughs> oh, that's it. Dr. Pill? This orange is beyond all help, okay? Nobody could help him, not even Montel Williams. I quit! But... No buts! I am a world-famous food psychiatrist, okay? And I don't need this, all right? Never before have I been so confounded and infuriated by a patient, okay? Well, orange's insolence is enough to make... A pill pop? Yes, and before I become that very pill, I will excuse myself. No! Pill pop! Huh? Ah! Pill. Really? Sure. He made me face some truths about myself that weren't easy to swallow. <laughs> uh, you. I'm here for the free trip to Hawaii. You and me both. You guys are all worried this thing's like a scam, like a free trip to Hawaii. You don't see that every day. You think it's legit? Hmm? Well, only one way to find out. Hey, we're here for the free trip to Hawaii. Who's running this thing? I am. Huh, a mysterious disembodied voice is running the thing. Oh yeah, it's legit. Welcome all, thank you for coming. Please, gather within the circle. Yeah, and what if I don't wanna? Then you don't win the trip to Hawaii. Ah, that makes sense. Hold up! All we gotta do is stay inside the circle? <laughs> well, that's the easiest thing I've ever- Ah, <laughs> my vertigo! Off balance bar has been eliminated. Uh, dang it! Every time! <laughs> Whoa! This voice dude plays for keeps! Indeed! The last person remaining in this circle wins a trip for two to Hawaii! Well, everybody get comfy. Looks like we're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, especially since Orange isn't here. Totally! Can you imagine how hard this would be if Orange was playing? We'd all be scrambling for the exits by now! <laughs> Admit it, you thought I'd probably pop up! <laughs> oh, no! come on! That's not fair. Orange is so annoying. I'm not annoying. I'm an orange. <laughs> also, I'm a brand new trumpet player. Wanna hear? No! no! Is, is he playing it from the wrong end? That's somehow even worse! Uh, how are you guys holding up? Eh, okay. It's pretty annoying, but it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not like we have ears. Yeah, well, maybe you don't, but I do. Whoa! Well, I didn't think of that. Tough draw being a literal ear of corn while Orange is learning the trumpet. I cannot do it. I am out. I am out. Corn has left the circle. Five remain. Make it four! Little Apple, you're leaving already? Pear! We both know how this is gonna go! These other guys don't know Orange like we do! A trip to Hawaii isn't worth what you're gonna have to endure! I'm out! Nah, you won't reconsider? No! Not even a little? <laughs> ah! Little Apple has left the circle! Four remain! Hey Pear! Pear! Hey Pear! You gonna leave the circle next, Pear? No way! I'm not worried! I've seen everything you can do, dude! Have you, Pear? Yeah, I'm ready for whatever annoying tricks you've got! Okay then, Pear! Wait, where's he going? Why'd he leave? Also, why'd he say my name so much? I have no idea! Oh boy, that's really gonna gnaw at me! Hey, Bopato! That's not how you say my name! Tabapo? Potato. 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 No. Ah. Uh, now you've got me doing it. Whoops! How slilly of me. You. You did it again. You're saying words wrong. Slightly wrong. Are you serious? I'm sorry. I hope this doesn't make you leave the circle. It normally wouldn't, other than the fact that you've been naked this entire conversation. Serious? Am I the only one seeing this? Well, you're the one with the most eyes, Potato. Ugh, I can't take it. I'm out. You guys can have the trip. Potato uh, has left the circle. Three remain. Hey, guys. So it looks like we're the last three remaining. I'm Pear. I'm Pineapple. I really hope I win, because it'll be a great chance to see my family. And I'm Schnozberry. 
I really hope I win because, well, obviously I need a procedure done and there's a really famous doctor who can do it in Hawaii. I can imagine. There probably aren't a lot of surgeons out there who are able to reduce the size of a nose that big. Who said anything about reducing my nose? I have a severe case of jaundice. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Schnozberries are, of course, supposed to be green. No, yeah, I, I totally knew that. No, you didn't. Guys, is my nose really that big? <sighs> Listen, here's the deal. You both need the trip more than me, so I'm gonna bow out. Really? Yeah, this way one of you can win the trip, then take the other one as your guest. That's right. The mysterious voice did say it was a trip for two. Smart idea. Thanks, Pear. You're welcome. I'm just glad to get out of this circle before Orange busts out his entire bag of tricks. The kazoo, the motorboating, the tongue touching, the nyanyas, the farts, the farts, the mega zoo, the. Ooh. Everybody hold your breath! Yeah! <laughs> I gotta say, this episode is a real gas! Yeah! <laughs> oh, you hold it up! Uh, not so good. Oh, wrong time to be the only one with a poor nose. Whoa, hold strong, dude! Hawaii is within your grasp! On the plus side, you might not even need the procedure. You're looking really green! Am I? Oh, thank you for saying that. That's really kind of you to- <laughs> Oh, whoa! Schnozberry has launched himself out of the circle! To remain! Well, this is the part where I leave and let you win. Have fun visiting your family in Hawaii! <laughs> Oh, my family doesn't live in Hawaii. I said I was gonna see them, not visit them. Yeah, we do a weekly Zoom call, and I figured why not do the call from a tropical beach instead of my studio apartment? What? Okay, that's it. I'm going for the win. But you promised. I don't care. I need a break from Orange as much as anyone. Probably more than anyone, in fact. And that's why I'm not gonna tell you about the Mega Zoo. Yeah, you keep mentioning the Mega Zoo. What is it? It's about three inches directly behind you. What? <laughs> Whoa! Looks like he might be flying to Hawaii after all. <laughs> Pineapple has been Mega Zooed out of the circle. Pear wins the trip for two to Hawaii. Yeah! Woo! Thank you so much. I needed this bad. Wait. Why are you giving one to Orange? It's a trip for two. You and Orange. Woohoo! Pear, we're gonna have the greatest time, Pear! What? Uh, I don't get to pick the other person? Sorry, I don't make the rules. Yes, you do! Pear, what should we do first in Hawaii, Pear? Oh, Pear, we should go parasailing! <laughs> Stop saying my name so much! Shari! And pronounce words correctly! Okay! And put your peel back on! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>